Hey, this is Matt Cox and this is The Grind. Woke up at five o'clock in the morning. I, be, I worked for about an hour. Um, what I do? I shaved and now I'm on my way to the gym. I'm gonna go to the gym, then I'm going to, I mean, I'm gonna go to the gym, then I'm gonna go see my mom for about an hour, hang out with her. And then I gotta come back, I gotta come back to, uh, to come back to my house and I have to, uh, I have to sign some books, I have to mail the books. I'm gonna try and do some painting cause I have to make some money to pay my bills. And uh, man, I've already been up for an hour writing emails. So that's, uh, that's basically. I'm so tired. I am so tired right now. I'm gonna go to, uh, I'm almost there. I'm gonna go 30 minutes and then I'm quitting. Here's where I'm at. 4.4 miles in 30 minutes. I am absolutely exhausted right now absolutely exhausted um now i gotta do chest shoulders and try so i'm at my mom's now i'm gonna go in and hang out with her for about an hour or so and then i'm gonna head back to uh, back to my house and this is uh she lives in like a oh, it's like it's not really assisted living. There's different phases. There's different phases. She lives in like a, it's really, she lives like in an apartment complex. And then they have different phases where they have like assisted living and then it goes on and on. But, but like as of right now, she basically lives in her own condo. Okay, so. I just spent about an hour with my mom and she was sleeping and she's tired and she doesn't want to get up and she doesn't want to eat. She doesn't want to do anything. She's so tired. She, she sleeps 20, I think like 20 to 22 hours a day now because she takes medication for her heart and just a bunch of medication that's basically keeping her going. And uh, usually, sometimes we'll, sometimes she'll like, We'll go for a walk, like, you know, around the complex. I mean, she doesn't, she's in a wheelchair, so we walk around the complex or we talk, but she didn't really, she basically was eating with her eyes closed. Caregiver that, that's there got her up and, and we sat down and we ate, but she doesn't really, you know, she doesn't, she didn't really even have her eyes open. Like, she, she knows I'm there. I mean, we talked for a little bit, but most of the time she just wants to sleep. It's hard to come here and, and really, you gotta really time it right so you can I can catch her, so I can catch her awake. Um, what am I doing? <sighs> Look, fucking masks. Um, yeah, so I gotta. It's uh, you gotta time it right, and uh, I usually do. And she's just, but um, the caregiver that that's here was just. She was like, she's just exhausted. She just doesn't want to get out of bed at all. She don't want to get up. Plus she'd already taken her medication. I think that makes her, her also makes her tired. So anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna go home now. I'm gonna head home, so I got a bunch of stuff to do. Back from my mom's. I, I hung out there for like an hour. So then I came back home. So now I'm back home and what I'm doing now is People buy my books and then they'll read it and they want me to, to sign it or something and so they'll they'll mail me the book, you know, with with postage so I can mail it back. Sometimes that I've, uh, you know, I signed a bunch of books last week and then I, I went and I got a bunch of books and I had to order books uh, some because you know some guys I just I'm, I have to uh, I have to, have to uh, sign a book and mail it back to them. So I don't know if that makes sense. I mean, fuck all. Basically, I have some books that I have to sign and I have to mail back to people that have mailed them to me. So that's what I'm going to do now. 
and a bunch of clocks. So I've got, let's see, this is what I got. Okay, so this is Drew, and Drew actually sent me some stuff a while ago, like a couple, like a couple weeks ago, and I got busy, and, I, and then I, I did a bunch of books, and but I didn't have the book that he wanted, so he wants me to get signed one book for his mom, Amy, and the other book for his sister, Emily. And so I'm gonna sign these and mail them back. Okay, so the issue with this is, see I've read it and it doesn't, he's not real specific on which book I'm supposed to be mailing. Oh, never mind, I misread it. He actually does say what he wants. Okay, got it. Got my pen. To Emily. Okay, so I wrote to Emily from Matthew Cox, the Secret Service is most wanted, and then I signed it, Matthew Cox. Yeah. So that's one. All right, so that's pretty cool. Right, let's see now. The other one is for to Amy from. Okay, sign the same thing. So we got one for Emily and one for Amy, and I'm gonna go and mail that, and I'm gonna include his letter. That's good. That's it. So I'll send that tomorrow. Because I'm probably not gonna be able to send it today. Alright, so, so there's another guy named Mark sent me this one. Oh, and Mark sent me some. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't put down what he wanted me to what he wanted me to say or to who or anything. So okay. Mark. Okay, same thing. Got it. Put the money here. Probably should include a note in that. Where's Drew? Okay, Drew actually, I mean, really dragged like Drew. Like he, he, like, he said those a couple weeks ago. So, I am gonna throw in another book? Or should I send him my book? Should I send him a copy of my book? You know what I need? The program. I wrote a book called The Program, which I actually just got the audio for it. I'm supposed to be listening to the audio today so that I can get, uh, so that I can go through it and get any, you know, any mis mispronunciations or any mistakes that the, uh, that the narrator made. But so far I've only seen one, but I've only gone through like four, cha four chapters. But anyway, I should have order a bunch of those and then I could mail those out too. It's, it's funny because listening to that book after writing it and putting it out like six months ago and then listening to it, I'm listening to it and I'm like laughing. I'm like, oh wow, that's, I forgot, that's a pretty good story. So let me send this one to, to Drew. Let me write one to Drew, okay. All right, so we'll send one to Drew too. All right, so got four more right there. One more, I need to order some other books and uh, I need to check my P.O. box because I'm sure there's some more books there. So this is one thing I'm doing right now. All right, I'm gonna. I'm going now to the post office, and I wasn't gonna go, but my my ring light broke. I actually had two ring lights, and both of them broke. One broke a few months ago. One broke a couple days ago, maybe a week ago. So I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna go to the post office and see if I can go pick up a ring light at Best Buy, it's like, it's like a 30 minute drive, but I gotta do it. All right, so I mailed the, the two packages off, or the books, and here's their and then I then I sent them the um, the receipt uh, with the tracking number so they can track it uh, because you know you just can never you know you never really know if I really did it or not. Uh, let's see. The other thing is now I got to go to I think I'm gonna go to Best Buy. Um, fuck, I'm gonna have to have a bad day. It's like all day I've had this depression that I have not been able to shake, and I got to go buy these damn these lights, and I'm like. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I have to keep reminding myself how lucky I am to be out here. So yeah, all right, gotta go. But 
Best Buy, and I got a ring light. All right, I'm all, I should be all good. All right, I should be all good. I should be all good now. All right, got my ring light. Hit Best Buy real fast, and now I'm headed back home. Just, uh, man, I'm just struggling today. It's just all day has just been a struggle. <sighs> just had a, just a really rough day. I don't even know why. I don't know what the deal is. Um, I got my ring light. I mailed some packages. Uh, I'm going to go upstairs and hopefully work on that painting. And... I mean, I gotta do something. I, I gotta put this whole thing, I gotta put this whole vlog together. Uh, I have to have something to come out tomorrow because I, I try and put vlogs out on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So, yeah, so this is it. I'm just, I'm just, yeah, it's, this is gonna have to, this is gonna have to be good enough. All right. All right, so the next thing I have to do is start working on my paintings. I have four paintings, which I, started I started like two weeks ago like I painted for like a day then I painted a couple hours here and a couple hours there and I just never seem to quite get enough time to really just finish them I painted four Marilyn Monroe's and I'm just I'm so close to finishing them I just need to knock them out and sell them so that's what I'm gonna basically be doing like the rest of the day and um, I don't even know how long this vlog is. This vlog should be short as it. I mean, this should be, maybe this is a short vlog. I mean, you know, they can't all be gems, bro. So basically now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint Marilyn Monroe. I'm gonna work on painting, finishing these paintings. I'm, I'm not, no way I'm gonna finish those paintings today. So I'm gonna work on those for a few hours. And then when I work on the paintings, I'm also going to listen to the audiobook, the program, which is a story I wrote. Uh, I actually wrote all the, I actually wrote the outline while I was incarcerated and then I finished off writing it when I got out and I put it up and it's actually like I never talk about it, I never put it out, I mean I never advertised for it, I've never done anything and I don't think I've even done, I'm not even sure I've done a podcast, I might have mentioned it one time on a podcast but it's really, it's a great book. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to listen to the audio of the program while I paint, there's just no way I'm going to finish these paintings, there's four of them, I don't know what I was thinking, like I thought, oh I'll knock out one and then I'll just basically duplicate it over and over again and then do like one of four and I thought it was going to be so easy and it's just turned into a nightmare. So I got to finish that and I have, I've got like six or seven, at least six or seven paintings of people that I'm supposed to do paintings for and I haven't done any of them yet. This is just a catastrophe. Um, that's. So that's it, I'm gonna work on this. I'm gonna listen to the audio for the program and that's it. Subscribe, uh, hit the bell, leave a comment, watch the video twice, send it to a friend, and uh, watch all the commercials, buy a t-shirt. You know what, I need to buy a t-shirt and I need to start wearing a t-shirt. I have a, a, a t-shirt that says, you know, Inside True Crime, it's actually pretty cool. Buy a t-shirt, buy a book, listen to the other grind videos, and that's it. See ya.